Got a new toy. This is a 2003 LRX moped, but these might look like a common moped. This has got something a little bit different. This has an engine nobody ever talks about. Fan cover's cracked. It's a uh, work in progress right now. I just brought this thing back to life a couple weeks ago. It's been riding it around, putting it all back together. This is the 1E41 QMB engine. Not to be confused with the 1E40 or the 140 QMB. Or even the 139, which is a four-stroke. This is a single-speed, chain-driven, two-stroke bike. Now, the difference between this is, this doesn't have the CVT, so it doesn't have as much power as normal bikes. And a lot of people talk shit about these and say you can't make them go fast. Well, I beg to differ slightly. As they say there's a dead spot in the throttle, I managed to figure that out. Um, I've got everything sealed up pretty good so far. I got an intake made on it. There you can see down in there. It's from an old vacuum hose, but it works. The tube going to the air box was gone. So, uh, the only issue I've been having with it is this gas tank valve. It likes to just close sometimes while I'm driving, and it'll just shut the fuel off. Usually only does it when it's cold. We'll see if it does it this time. I'm going to strap on the GoPro and uh, take you for a little ride. And we'll see how it all does. But, uh, yep, this is the bike, and this is going to be my summer slash winter project because it was missing all this plastic. Uh, the gas tank is from my four stroke bike, which no longer runs, and so is the tail light because it was gone. Um, I'm buttoning all this up and going to make this more permanent and change some things around later, but this is just ugly right now because I wanted to ride it and road test this and make sure that it was all good before I started dumping more money into it and getting everything right. So, so far it seems to ride pretty good, for the most part, it's been getting me around. And, um, we're going to take it for a ride now. Hopefully I don't have that fuel valve issue. So. Alright, got the GoPro here. I'm going to put you in the test mount, strap you up, and go for a ride. This is going to be a cold start, too. I guess you could call it that. This has been sitting, uh, eh, a couple hours. Usually starts really easy. One to two kicks. The seat just sits on here, it's kind of annoying, but right now it works. All right. Need to switch out the rear shock too. Dead spot in the throttle everybody talks about it used to be right here. You get no more after this, but it just keeps going. Screw it, let's take it around the block. Now, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but it slips the clutch a little bit when I take off, and it's like that on purpose. Uh, I set it up that way by putting a little bit heavier oil in it because it's an absolute pig when it takes off, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot better now, though, even going up a hill.
go a wide open run down this road. Stay tuned for this one. This project is staying in my arsenal for a very long time. I got some plans for this. Uh, throw up some ideas in the comments if you do too. Uh, I'm always open. Right now I think I'm going to make it look like a pizza delivery scooter since there's no rear body. I'm um, going to build a box on the back like a delivery carriage and carry stuff in and make it more useful. So uh, stay tuned. More coming. This is going to be a video series. This will be part one. <laughs>